Hey, so today's workout consisted of a deload um, session for strength. Uh, I didn't actually record it, but it was just two sets of barbell flat bench press and uh, wide grip pull-ups, each for, uh, I think it was, yeah, three to four reps with a slow eccentric, so a slow uh, descend. Just two sets, again, a deload week. Um, Every third week or so, I like to do something a little bit less volume, just to let the body um, recover, and then you come back even stronger the following week. And then for the conditioning, um, wanted to also incorporate some scapular retraction, as you can see here. So some ring, um, ring rows. Uh, it's a movement that is neglected a lot by people, so I like to get that included every once in a while. So first was ring dips, and strict ring dips and then the ring rows for seven and then this one here is seven reps of lying leg raises uh, really focus on keeping the posture pelvic tilt lower back as close to the floor as I can and just focusing on pulling with my lower abdominals um, I kind of visualize my lower abdominals are like reins on a horse so I'm using the lower abdominals to pull the legs up so I'm trying to keep my pelvis as stable as possible. And then follow that with uh, three power cleans at 135. Yeah, it seemed like it was a pretty good workout. I did it for 15 minutes, and I think I got, I don't remember exactly what the rounds were. I think it was like three rounds plus a few reps. I wasn't really pushing it too hard. I wasn't you know, trying to get max number of rounds, but just trying to get my heart rate up, trying to get One a good minute. sweat. And uh, yeah, felt good. So... Um, yeah, that, that's it for uh, today's workout. Key thing though here on the cleans, uh, as you can see when I'm in my setup position, I keep my hips fairly low, chest nice and tall, maintaining a lumbar arch in my lower back, and I'm keeping that bar as close as I can during the pull, and as well as when I um, pull it up past my body into the receiving position. So. Especially when you're fatigued, you really want to take your time on each rep, so you'll notice I'm not doing touch and goes, I'm just resetting every single time. Keeping the chest tall, hips low, driving through, and receiving in that front rack position. So yeah, all around good workout.